The skies are finally clearing up after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, so we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. Wrap up tight and settle in, folks. This is 104.3 WBCK, the Basswood Sound, and I'm your host, Carrie Hammond. Coming up after a short break, mental health expert Dr. Rick will discuss the recent opioid epidemic that's been affecting... Time to kill before the funeral. Might as well spend it here. This place was always one for decisions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. Welcome back to Basswood, Sam. I came up here every chance I could. One of the all-time great views. Really makes a small town look big. Strange to think of Basswood without its mine. My hometown. It felt more imposing in my nightmares. I remember spending entire summers on the banks fishing with Nick. I'm not sure Nick would even want me at his funeral, given how I left things. You'd think the massive cliff face would be a giveaway. I get the feeling it still sees some use, given how bad the coverage is up here. These trails were great to walk if you wanted to feel truly alone. Some of these species are endangered. She wrote an article about it.
Hunting is another tradition I could never get behind. Just don't see the appeal. I left a sandwich in it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it. I used to love looking at basswood from up here. It helped give me perspective. Until that day. Why can't the real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? Even if it does mean nothing stays hidden in here, not even me. I, uh, I've been meaning to ask you something. Don't freak out. Would you be my little girl's godfather? I, I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. And yet I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. I'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about. This is Anna. She works freelance. Uh, does a lot of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. <laughs> what do you like to write? I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit-chat. And Sam, be nice. I had never met someone so interested in others. Even in me. The story is important. You know I think that. It's just... People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. Sam, are you even listening to me? I heard you, Anna. But no, I wasn't listening. Come on, Anna. Look at this. <laughs> what is it? Someone skinny dipping? Anna, you really need to see this. I can't even see. Something's blocking it. Sam, what are you doing? I'm trying to be romantic. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. I'm down on one knee? A ring? What else would I be doing? You look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam. Put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. You should know that. We've discussed it before.
We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? I missed the funeral. Maybe it's for the best. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. The good news though, at least you don't have to do it alone. Lost the signal. Some things never change. Yuli, you actually came. It's been a while. You've gotten taller. Can we talk? We're talking right now. It's cold. So... You left. Joan, that's not fair. You left.
it was more complicated than just me and you. It's always more important than me. Joan, listen. After Anna and I broke up, I couldn't keep living with her. I didn't have anywhere else to stay. So I moved back in with my mom, who's over in Connecticut these days. You didn't call, text, or anything. You were just gone. I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Thanks for being honest. <laughs> You're always at least honest. Listen, I, uh... I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's... wrong. I don't buy it. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just look into it, Muley? Please? She wants her father's death to mean something. But where does that lead? What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? A few questions won't hurt anyone. Just tonight. To reassure her. And myself. This is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, whatever you do, at least leave the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other. Even if it means disappointing her again? It's your call. Okay, I'll see what I can see and all that. Gumshoe it up. You will? You make some good points. It doesn't fit. I hate when things don't fit. Yeah, me too. I might just be, I don't know, crazy or something, but... You want to know for sure. I get it. Thanks, Muley. I, um... I should go in before my mom misses me. You better get in there, too. Can't hide in your car all night. Who says I'm hiding out here? I do. See you inside. We'll talk to Walter. I'll have to sooner or later.
Whoever said you can judge someone by their car never met Terra. Some of the police force stopped by, which means most of the police force stopped by. Yes, the cat food is under the sink. Yes, yes it is, Mother. Trust me. Oh, Samuel is here. I'll call you back. Samuel Higgs. Two long years since we last saw each other. You're very late, you know. You completely missed the funeral. I'm here for next wake, at least. You have to bring it in for a hug. It's a basswood back-in-town requirement. So good to see you. Even if I wish the circumstances were different. In times like these, we need the comforting touch of others. At least I do. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? No, why? Um, no reason. If you get the chance, we should catch up. We should really catch up. I'll see you inside. issue of this paper since I left. I wonder how they've been doing without me. It must have been a hard issue to write. for this. Mr. Samuel Higgs, big shot investigator reporter. Didn't think you'd ever be back in here. I'd gladly slash your tires, but that means you couldn't leave town. And you are leaving town right after this, right? Because if you aren't, well, Nick's memory only goes so far. That's what I thought. Come on, it ain't worth it. Making friends already, I see. 
Declan, been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to angry up everyone's blood. I'm only here to pay my respects to Nick. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, shame that. You watch yourself. I think it's time I go put up a photo at the memorial board. That's what people do, right? Declan lacks subtlety, but he loves this town like no one else. He's owned this bar for almost a decade and still can't afford another employee. Uh, not really. You just quoted him a couple of times and I thought it sounded good. Then you should read Great Expectations. So I had to throw them all out on their ear and only then did I realize... Ah, Samuel, my favorite ex-muckracker. Join us. Join us. How was the funeral? Wasn't there. Setting up for this. Everyone came, most of the town it felt like. A sea of sad, wet eyes. I gave the eulogy. It felt hollow. So hollow. He worked for me for years. For years! My best reporter! What do you even say about him? He loved people. Sharing things. Having fun together. Take video games. He didn't even care if it was some cooking game or shooting game or what, as long as we were playing together. I always prefer my games analog. Chess, Go. You two did seem to bond over them, though. It's the small things. Like, he always kept his window down. Said cars made him claustrophobic. That's how he stays with us. The little details. I remember the bar bets about that safe spot at Pac-Man. He, he got me one night. Yeah, got me once, too. Can't believe it's real. Enough about Nicholas, enough. Tell me, how have you been, Sam? How have you really been? Got a new start, new perspectives. I'm helping my mother with her garden. I've been volunteering. Terrific to hear, my boy. Terrific to hear. Well, I think I've taken enough of your gent's time. Go. Mingle, circulate, but you must join us for an actual round later. You must. Yeah, that could be nice. Maybe. We'll see. Think about it, Samuel. A drink with friends is worth a thousand among enemies. It's the guy who got the mine closed. I can't believe you showed up. Sammy! Oh, it's been ages. Tara? Oh, me? I've had this stomach thing lately, always churning. Uh... And this thing with Nick, his car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Um, no. The infamous Sam. I've read that article you wrote on the mine. You must have put in a lot of legwork on that. Oh, uh, you read it. What do you think? Of the writing? Fine. Fine. Of the reporting? <laughs> Something that needed to be done. Many medicines are a bitter brew, but you still need to take them. That's nice of you to say. Oh, don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you... But for now... I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, oh, right. Don't be a stranger, Sam.
Everyone here seemed to really like my dad. Of course they did, Bug. Everyone's nice in that creepy way. It's weird. <laughs> Even Anna's weird. People don't really know what to say, but they genuinely liked your dad. So even if they're weird and clumsy, it comes from a good place. <laughs> now you sound all weird and clumsy. Don't I always? Do you ever just watch people? <laughs> it's pretty much all I do. Me too. But I don't always like what I see. There was no love lost between Kathy and Nick since their divorce, but anyone can see she's taking his death hard. Kathy, uh... Sam, you actually came. been too long, Kathy. <laughs> Has it? Joan was really hurt when you left town. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and Joan's never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um... Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? Hard to make promises. I don't do well with those in Joan. I've noticed. I'll try. Sam, I'm gonna hold you to that. Sorry we lost touch. Sorry, I lost touch. Rust up, big guy. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. Happier times. Bug was so small back then. We drove straight to the sea after work on a Friday. Hell of a weekend. He was more her best friend than a dad. Those two were a great team. Samuel, guess I lost the bet. Bet? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood? Not after you went careening out of town like a bat out of hell the instant that article broke bad. Okay, I'll bite. Tell me, Dennis, who did you have a standing bet with? Myself. So I guess I also won. What are you even doing here, Dennis? You and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which I am. And I thought he was a hack, which he was. This coming from the IT guy. Didn't know resetting passwords could give you a journalism degree. It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. Relax. I'm just playing. 
<laughs> At least tell me how you've been. If you must know, I still haven't bounced back from when Anna and I broke up. I think you meant since she broke up with you. Yeah, but I hear you. Yeah, that's how I ended up in this shit town. Chasing a woman. Yeah, then she left and I got stuck here with two kids. Anyway, cheers to Nick. A man that, unlike us, people actually liked. Speaking of which... Anna used to play it almost every night. She stopped after her father's accident. Nick and I spent so much money on this machine. Has it really been two years since I saw her? She hasn't changed a bit. Anna? Sam! Sorry. Old habits. Why'd it take so long for you to darken my doorstep? Well, I'm here now. I'll have to try and come by more often. That's what I'm supposed to say, right? Even if not everyone around here would like it. People around here have short tempers. <laughs> and long memories. But most of them mean well. Sam, the mine was going to close anyways. Maybe in a year or two, five, if the Lord has a sense of humor. It was going to run dry or have an even bigger disaster. It wasn't your fault. Yeah, I mean, I understand that. It doesn't make it easier, though. It's got to make it a little easier. 
When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Whenever people talk about you, he always says, you did the right thing. Yeah, well, your dad's Joe. He's an oak, unmoving and annoyingly supportive. <laughs> it wasn't just him. Nick thought your piece was great. He was actually jealous. He always wanted to write something that shook the pillars of heaven, as he used to put it. You know, Nick and I had moved in together, started to get serious. But I think it's only now I realize how much I cared for him. Yeah, yeah. That's, um, you two. It must be so hard. Are you okay? You knew about us, right? He, he, he said he was gonna tell you. Uh, yeah, I, I knew, but knowing and, um, <laughs> knowing are different. Yeah, I, I guess they are. But this, this was all nice. The funeral, the wake. Walter did a good job. But it all just makes me feel heavy. It makes my heart hurt. Like Nick's memory has been laid on top of me and I'm still carrying him. It's hard for me to really just wrap my head around it. Nick being gone. Smart. Don't rock the boat when the person in the boat just lost a loved one. It's big. I can't get my head around it either. His stuff is all over my house, but he's just missing. Things without an owner. Most of it I'll probably give to Joan and Kathy, the throwaway, I don't even know. Sam, I'm tired, and if I'm gonna drink and cry, I wanna do it alone. I played that stupid, stupid song like I told myself I would. He said, or he used to say, it made him ache. I did it, and I'm going home. We need to catch up, though. Let's meet for coffee tomorrow and talk. Really talk. 9.30? Yeah, maybe. I'll be at the cafe across from the paper, Christina's. It was honestly nice seeing you. Samuel, come, have a round with me. I need a drink or two, or three, and then I'll go. It does look tempting. So, Nick wasn't drunk, and me? I was drunk as a skunk. Ah, Samuel, 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 join us. We were just sharing stories about dear Nicholas. And let me get your next round. Maybe Ethan has a suggestion for a worthy spirit? Ah, oh, spirits? Oh, no, no, friends drink beer. Yes, I suppose that's fitting. To dear Nicholas. Yeah, he'd been coming in a lot lately. Sat right there, with a bad dad joke or two. <laughs> with friends, I guess? Maybe Anna. No, oh, by himself, with his laptop as his date. He never drank alone. You two were close, though, right? Tell me about the man outside the bar. He had a terrible memory. Couldn't remember names, dates, passwords. Kept his notes squirreled around him like a horde. child doing drinking. You have no control over her? Ethan can lose I his wasn't license. doing anything! Don't touch me! Joan! Leave me alone. Ugh. You guys are all so... so... St
stupid! You do not talk to people that way. I'm... I'm sorry, everyone. She's just so... so... That was quite heavy-handed. I hope the little one doesn't take it to heart. Declan sure came at her with both barrels. Joan's tough, though. She'll be okay. I'd say that went well. Ish. You got to chat with everyone you've been avoiding. Even if the years didn't smooth their animosity as much as I hoped. Just shut up. Coming back to Basswood was your idea. You're the one in the driver's seat, Sam. I can't make you do anything. Deep down, you've been looking for a reason to come back. <sighs> it's gonna be one of those long nights inside your head, huh? I didn't, I didn't ask for you to be here, to come back. I couldn't let you miss this. You just showed up. You can't see it now, but the guilt would have eaten you alive. You're back out in the world, feeling emotions, fitting in, that's progress. Fuck the world. Pointless talking and more talking and no one says what they mean. Go away. Let me enjoy being miserable. Just try and make sure you don't do anything stupid. No promises. Check out. They can wait a bit more. God, what a headache. I feel like a small jackhammer in my left temple. Didn't even get under the covers. Glad I even made it to the bed. Please let there be water. Is that... No, that's not water. That is vodka, the opposite of water. No, no more beer. I need water. Hmm. 
No water, of course. I was at least hoping I'd look better than I feel. Already feel more human. Now, where did I put my shirt? Sam, be more careful. Breathe. Focus. Find the way to calm down. You have to find the right door. You need to steady yourself.
You're doing good. Really good. You're almost there. Focus. Choose. Act. Deliberately. Get far away. Don't think. Just go. As far as fast as I can. Hide. It's never happened. If I run, I'll keep running. I need to face what happened. The answers. Yes, answers. Good or bad, I need answers. I know what you're thinking. Stop thinking that. Pills and alcohol? You're lucky enough you didn't wake up dead. I need to know what happened last night. The last place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. The squeaky nail gets hammered down. Maybe don't play lone wolf detective. There's too many questions about last night. All the obvious answers are bad, but... Worth knowing. Not all answers are worth knowing. I can't just run from whatever this is. So either help me or get out of my head. It's your life, Sam. I just live here. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Used Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. I doubt Ethan's account somehow led to the blood on my shirt. Whoa, what happened here last night? First, look around, figure out what happened. I ended up drinking alone. So who brought that second glass?
off. Did I do this? Sorry, Nick. These were sent scattering. Someone thrown into them? What knocked this clock off the pillar? Ripped. Did this happen yesterday or was it always like that? It seems there was a fight. It could explain the blood on my shirt. But does it mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence. They might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night. Joel's hat. Maybe we ended up having it out after all. Chasing and being chased by ghosts. DG, Dennis's initials. Was he involved in whatever the flowers are ruined? Looks like they were knocked over, then stepped on. The pot was completely shattered. Looked like it might have been kicked. Could be the same blood that was on my shirt. Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. What a mess. Hope this wasn't me. Hugh's business card. Wonder why it's here. I think I've seen enough to put together the pieces of what happened last night. Just gotta think it through. At least I can always count on this place to make sense.
Now to work out what happened while I was blacked out last night. I just need to think it through logically, throw out impossibilities. Until only the truth is left. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through, find out what really happened. I was drinking on my own, and someone approached me. I can't remember who it was, but I know we got into a fight. Obviously. If I figure out how the fight went, I should figure out who my assailant was. Broken glass, damaged seat. It's possible the fight made its way over here. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. Broken glass, damaged seat. It's possible the fight made its way over here. One hell of a mess. This could definitely be the result of two people fighting. That could be it, but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. Pharmacist's business card. Hope I didn't start picking on the elderly. Joel's cap. Maybe he provoked me again after I'd had a few? The jukebox is not in the same place. Maybe it was involved in the fight somehow. It looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it.
doesn't fit with the thing I found. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. I have the complete picture now. You know, the man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. And who do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch? You don't. Talk about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. Not here. Sam. Meet me later at Sam. the Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, well, tell him you're here to apologize about last night. You trashed up his bar and I don't have time to lose explaining myself to Ethan. <laughs>